This is Gerald, Johan van Waas, and the educational channel. This video is a demonstration that shows you the sound in form, a theory that is showing that there exists a natural order that has a whole frame of references in time and space, and this reference, these references are also the reference points for letters in a way that when we combine these letters that this shows you also how these reference points and combined reference points become orientations in time and space and directions in time and space that show you how things are formed how things are hanging together how we adapt towards uh, towards the these reference points and how we use them unconsciously but how also everything is forming itself according to these rules and a lot of uh, demonstrations are, are found and, and, and demonstrated in these videos the last couple of videos already uh, explained combinations with l and that was helpful because l is uh, the the process of formation itself so with in combination with l it shows you very well how things are formed the f is one of these vague uh, reference points which also shows that we have no direction we don't know what we're having but in combination with l this whole set of not finding in directions of all, all directions of ones with the l it will continue to do so but if it's separated, if the L is separated, this L or formation itself will not find a, a, a solution immediately in the lack of directions. So will it will find more like a compensation. So we have letters like uh, that that are combined with L with a vowel in between. It will also uh, say in a way like okay. Um, this lack of uh, directions uh, continues a little bit, continues in a certain space, continues with this vowel, and will try to find the solution then a little bit later. Now, this is a more difficult situation, but I will show you with demonstrations how this works. But therefore, we also need a better preparation a more detailed uh, knowledge acknowledgement of what the f is and in which structure it works and how it combines how we, how it will find solutions and so on what is really going on there with the f with this vagueness of directions how in earth can we find a solution with vagueness of solutions i will show you with a lot of examples so the F was this, let's just say, vague set of directions. The L was the two-dimensional frame. So together with the F and the L, it would, it would give me an easy frame with all kinds of directions with, with, a, with a vowel combination. A vowel is a background of an orientation of a spatial kind of frame. So with flea or fla, for instance, uh, so with the combination it will continue to to be free in all direct in 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 these uh, directions in this case if i separate the f from the l and i have the vowels in between it will make it a bit more difficult because there will be a delay be before the formation of forms in l will take form while the f is under uh, doesn't find a direction so it will not find a direction immediately so how, what will be the difference i'll give you a very simple example i have here some combinations of fill full and fall very easily expressed compared to flea fla with flea the, what is not finding a direction immediately uh, will continue to do so with fla as well as you can see here 
uh, already two examples here and you can imagine also some examples here so the flea i will uh, uh, wait where the all kinds of directions will continue to do so to find all kinds of directions in flits uh, of the flash you can Im immediately recognize it in the form on top the, you can recognize the flit so the un undirected things are directed by the e but they can go any directions the fla you can recognize the form there what these undistinct directions are in the fla i don't know but it seems to have a structure and i can recognize it by fla uh, in the form on top there so let's leave it by that with fill uh, you have the word filler immediately in in mind so it means traffic jam and i can also immediately recognize it there so i have the under uh, so you can go all kinds of directions and suddenly i have to go into yeah one direction the fit the e is going one direction and it has to fit within so the fill or the traffic it will cause this traffic jam you can almost imagine it there i didn't do it in purpose i just combined the letters there the fall will or vol or full will be will be associated very easily there as well but fall there as well the all kind of directions will fall in there it, it will be somewhat recognizable you can associate it already very easily and many times if you simply combine the combinations of letters in the with the association that they have and you put them into the right order you can often already recognize what it is about and that's what you have here already so uh, as you can see but uh, we were going to investigate these uh, combinations like uh, with fall and foul i will take most of the uh, letters because they don't seem very easily with fill you can uh, recognize a form more or less with fall it is losing it again a little bit so i will need more help i will need more guidance and that's a challenge so i'll take this challenge with fall as you can see there you have the direction it's a, it is the correct order you can you recognize it yeah more or less but does it really um, explains it can i put it into one form immediately instead of into this order it is difficult it is difficult i will try so i have the f then the a and then the l and what is going on here if the not finding a direction in f and then the l is finding a form when at the time of the finding a form with l I will have to f have found my direction by that time so i have a delay in finding a direction that will be in all the words with f from f to l and the thing in between so well i have a slight delay in the formation process so in fall i will have that as well but i will try to find all directions in that time in the fall i will have that as well or is it it's not really us it's more r so it will adapt also a bit more slowly and i will slowly find a form and direction a direction l form l form i will slowly find my form that's something you can recognize there already so what we have already is of course what we already defined before is the f is this undestined vague situation this is a reference point and it will make us more difficult to adapt it uh, to yeah changes with other letters so it's better that we define this f a little bit better a little bit more into detail before we can adapt it a bit a bit a little bit more clear in other letters so let's define it a bit more clear and i will take my book and see what i have there already so i described the f also as a kind of conflict situation so you try to match 
and it doesn't work. You have a friction situation because there are conflicting directions. All directions are going, you have all possibilities of directions at once. So uh, what is dominant? You don't know yet. You can't, you don't know it at this point. You try to find a match and you can't. So you have, the only thing you can do from this situation is you can find a temporal compromise of direction. And that's what is expressed in this form. If you compare it to yeah, going from one situation to another situation or from one point of view to another point of view, uh, so from one until two, so from one option to another option, you have this undestined situation, which is a mixed situation. But as you can see, it can go all directions at the same time and it has no reference point, not much of a reference point. It can go all directions. With the V, it's only Italy finding a direction. Well, from here, this is a situation in which all directions are still possible. Now, what is its position in the big structure? Now, this big structure is a, is a part in my book which is the most important because then you can orient yourself into uh, every situation and you know where more or less is my reference point in time and space. I will take this reference point of time in time and space of F. So there are three reference points, I will repeat that again and again, which are very important in, in, as an underlying structure in all the letters. You can uh, give an order to all the letters in three different regions, the three dimensional frame, the time frame and the, uh, the frame of changes where, you, where there are conditions to change and so on. The time frame is that you know, OK, I have a situation, it's changing and sometime or another I will come to that change. That's the time frame. Now, at the end this, of this time frame of the time process, we have the letters G, F, and P. It's, uh, yeah, so what we would try to do there is we are at the end of the time frame, at the end of, of the, all the values, and we tr it's really at the end of the process, and we can't uh, give an order to everything. So this time frame, is limited it gets to its limits with all these letters g f and p g in the center f in the formation and p in the volumes themselves so they are we are reaching our limits and when we are reaching our limits we have to find yeah solutions uh, this time we cannot change anything yet so but we still can adapt we try to adapt this last this last kind of situation that we at the end of the process that the time is forming itself and it doesn't come to it immediately what do we need as a situation we need a, a, a solution here so something is formed over time but it needs a push like with the p it needs a suggestion a somewhat that yeah that we yeah, we try to compromise, find a compromise so that sooner or later we will find a solution. Let's put these three letters, the last three letters uh, on, uh, together and sh show you a bit better uh, how you can also see them. So there are three conflicting end directions with the G as it is expressed here. It's, uh, it's, uh, so you have uh, contradictions and they are still a bit close to each other the f here everything is mixed and we don't find the direction we can't find the section and with the p there's so much mixed or uh, mixed with each other already yeah almost something new will have to be found out so we, it's the process of intermixing has to find a solution and it's all uh, about time so it is also time that we are going towards a, a, a process of change but we can't change anything yet the only thing we can do is try to find something out of situation that we yeah, can get out of it that we can derive from it in the g 
we will try to direct from our center point of view all of its deviations with the f we will try to find a form of our deviations in the p it's uh, about the uh, the yeah the variations at the end the processes in the end that we still try to find uh, uh, a solution for it out of the process out of the variations that we get in the end i will explain that better at some other time but we were talking about the f the f is about formation formation of values these values can't find a direction so we have to find a, a direction sooner or later here you have the fall for instance i have this uh, the, the all is trying to form itself gradually with f it will try to push the limits of its formation that sooner or later we will try to form it in the end out of a process of formation so, so we continue with we adapt more extra, extra things we're at here the space in it the a the 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 a there the central lead in it we will lead it a bit more so it will be led by the whole L, the formation itself so we will get to it in the end so we'll get we'll make more of it more of it more of it add more of it until we truly have its formation and its direction its direction will get through it will fall into the direction that you need to uh, end into that's what fall is about f is trying to find direction a make uh, centralizing a direction l getting the form more clear and even more clear so that that you have the compensation of it so that you can find which direction is really in there which direction is dominant and that will fall into that direction that's what uh, uh, what is coming through in the form what is coming through in, in, in the so it's not finding a direction trying to find a direction so it will always be about compensation f with a will compensate in the form the undestined part will find its form and you know in fall it is not just falling it is also adding elements that show you what is dominant in the formation and what will become dominant whatever it is it will show its dominance at the end i also have falk here so f is the undirected form as you know the undirected direction which with a try to center its direction with the k it was diagonal so it can be centered down or centered up so you have a gradual situation of not finding a direction or all directions with a have a centered focus and suddenly with k you will have a diagonal or downward or upward direction with falcon of course this on will grasp a, a point to focus upon so this falc will folk will have a, a whole set of directions and choose something from it that is in the letters i'm just describing the letters and of course it's in a time uh, frame uh, as well so it is something that is steered and will get to a target that is what is pushed so are we pushing the limit of formation in time with f for we push the limit of the time frame also so that, so that we will get our result at the end uh, and push it forward like the p is pushing the f will also direct itself uh, in in this case uh, with the l a little bit uh, afterwards with a, a central lead we will lead the finding a direction in the end so the falc and the falcon will lead the time frame so that it will find a target the on part that is expressed in the letters alone
We have also fast here. The fast is the same thing. F, we try to find the solution. It's undestined. We, and what is going to, uh, we're going to lead its direction with its noticeable difference, the T, into the effect, so an effect that we can measure it. This is not really a reference to fast uh, as, as I can see it. More, it could be about speed or how fast it can be. It is, uh, for me, it's a reference point that says, okay, how uh, the directions, what is the directions? We don't know what the directions is. Well, we'll, we, will, we will check it in the result and the result will be clear in the end. That is already as a reference point visible in these letters. Maybe I don't see it clear enough, but that is already something that I can see there already. So also the P, I can also add a little bit more context eh, because uh, before that we, we saw it already as a reference point that uh, from just from one central point of view, we see it, saw it as a pressure point. Something comes out or something is pushed away. If you compare the two center points, uh, so the confrontational area now, uh, so which is in this case actually the reference point, which is also there, then we see it is not just pushed away, it's also pushing forwards and pushing towards, and it's pushing towards that part that is different from what we know. It's different, and we, when we also add time to, frame to it, it is, we know that this, what is pushed out of it, it is a result out of a process in time. And what if we go more into detail, what is this P? pushed out what is pushed out in time it is and then we have the structural frame that we had before it's an adaptation it's a compensation we cannot get to the real changes yet we try to change something we know that there is something different we know we know we cannot make it in time anymore from our own point of view we can't do that but because we find the pressure points between two all the differences we will find the compensation that is about this stage three of change is not there yet it's the end of the stage two in my structure i know i can compensate and i will deal with what is different and that is my focus that is also about the p so now i have a, a larger frame of reference points to understand the p because of the structure that I gave you before. I hope it's clear enough, but I will give you some examples. Now with F and P together. I will have the word FOP. It, uh, so I have here the F, FOP. So I have this undestined time frame. So I want to finalize my time frame with, with has all, all kinds of direction in my formation, but I don't know where, I don't know where it's going to. We'll try to find a solution. With the P, and I will still have to add it, it's still within my limits of time frame, so I have to press it. Instead of pressing out, it still is within my limits because I have F the limits. P will still get have these limits. So I press it still slightly within this border of this time frame. I will try to find a direction. Uh, still f f try to find a selection, try to finalize my processes, process in time with F and try to find also the difference, uh, a difference. I will show a difference. I will try to show you a difference. So what do I have with FOP? I have this time, uh, it's better to have the time frame there as well. So the underneath you can see it very clearly what I will have here the FOP is my process that tries to finalize something in time from what is actually still a different situation and I don't have it yet I press it in time still trying to finalize it in time and I press it in what does happen actually with FOP FOP has two meanings uh, the Dutch meaning means spoof so you have uh, uh, you, you make uh, yeah you, you fool someone uh, with this so you say like okay I have here a solution let's see I have here 
uh, and it's not there. There's no solution there. Uh, in English, it's called a fashion monger, uh, as, you can, as, as, uh, as I looked it up. So it's a, it's a different meaning. But what you have in all cases is certainly very clear within this time frame. So what is pushed in, you think that you have a result that is something new, that is something pressed out as something new is found, but it's still within the same environmental frame. It's still within the same starting point. You seem to have found a solution, but it's still pressed in the same yeah, limitations of the F will go over to the P, as you can see. I think the expression of FOP as the spoof in this uh, last image with red, green and blue, I think is still quite, uh, quite good, actually. For me, it's very clear how this is uh, very fitting with uh, spoof. And it reminds me of another word uh, the, from FOP. I also, we also have in Dutch the FOP Spain. So this is the spacifier. You can easily add a, a frame, an extra to it. It's also this element that is the compensation, the compensational object as, as we know it, uh, is still uh, quite fitting, I think, as a form. We have another one with fo. Uh, let's say, let's go to fold, uh, the fold. So they have the you have the unconditioned directions so all uh, yeah can go all kinds of directions it's un, it's uh, it doesn't have a, a real direction it tries to find a direction uh, with the expression in t orally and with the expression in letters with d you can find a point of reference of distinction and with a D, it moves position. So what is it about? You want to find directions, and you find directions by moving its positions. That's what is folding about. So you can see folding is finding the point of distinction that you that you move position. That is that's the expression of D. I said that more than once. I've expressed it a few more times be, uh, uh, in a different way yeah I have uh, I have it it's uh, so I have this a uh, little bit more focus on the else it still fits in the frame uh, as you can see so you have the solution of not finding a direction will find the solution in O the environment or in a process in L in a form of or in you, you will you will find the solution in the form and then of course you will go over to the activity of the folding of course the folding of the form so the undestined direction and the taking shape in the environment in the folding uh, direction the d is the compensating part so the so when you have no directions at all i try to f to design it in this way always that you have find the three the dimensions the new directions the new space i find the space where i have my solution the d is my solution this is my three-dimensional space where i find the solution in t a point of reference in d of moving apart and even I express it a few more different times, it's always about the same thing. It's about the reference part, point where you can move something in an environmental space so that you can, you have at the end, a new directions to follow. Force, I also expressed it quickly. Force is trying to find a leading direction with F in the environment O by connecting it to a process R to S the best or greatest effect, which is the force. The force. I also have here fold. I will have a few more words with fold. Fold we had already, so I express it once more. It's an undestined direction, which is then actually also 
compensated because it's compensated because the time frame isn't finished so i will try to compensate it and i will direct it in a form ol via displacement in fold folly or it's, it means uh, foolishness uh, it is a french word la folie it's uh, here as well you will try to uh, there's a lack of direction where you start from uh, you can say undestined direction but you can say here lack of direction in this context we know what the word's about it's just the translation of the same thing in the context that we know it is also compensated and here it's compensated again in the formation process in the environment in the in, in the formation process with form in forms and the e is with multiple ideas so that means all the whole lack of direction is now finding form in the in by just following ideas which basically try to to give it a new direction but uh, that doesn't mean that the lack of direction is not uh, simply finding new direction by following the formation processes alone some association that you can have it's uh, it's not definite it's uh, it's just an association from fold to folk i i could from this folding form i could easily have the if i press it a bit uh, press it a bit and i get, get a pressure point there in the fold i can it's almost like a breaking point and something i will i will, can think of, of it that something can break out and i thought no i don't understand it how can folk be there what i already know is it i start from a lack of directions i start from a compensation with k something will break with this lack of directions and will shape then of course its own distinctive form by simply associating the letters you already more or less know what folk is about but i will have a better a better um, a more compact the yeah, yeah, i i uh, i didn't uh, keep it compact the o had uh, the k had to be had to remain in, into the same area and i forgot about that so i will make a better one there but well let's go from folly to follicle the folly is of course this whole area of taking form uh, form with its own uh, directions on its own not very clear as a, as a folly as a, as a crazy person but uh, so maybe i can do that again but you can uh, do that one, another time but you can already understand yeah the context that's already great but folly with a double uh, with a folly at the the focus point on the e in a form uh, at uh, at at a certain point where they have all kinds of directions but there i take out one point of axis that makes a form and can make a, its own form as well with a double l here i have one point of reference point where i can make the compensation and where i can have something that breaks out here the follicle is easily recognizable what it is in a form i have the f here the O, the L, the E, the K, the A and the L, they are all recognizable. It is, the word is recognizable. I'm not going to give explanations. Folk, I said I, I, I uh, made it too complicated. Actually, it can be much more simple in expression. It's the undestined directions, which tries to find directions in a formation process. So that it can shape itself, can find the way itself, and it can change itself. It's compensating there in that breaking point. It's making distinctions of its own. It's finding form. That's the folk. And may, if it's not clear enough, uh, I give you also the advice for myself, for other people as well. If it's not clear enough, by simply making a form and making the associations from the letters alone, see uh, just look back at the context of the big structure where exactly are the words there where exactly are the letters 
there in the frame. So in folk, we, uh, we uh, uh, if if we have there in the folk a breaking point of formation there in the F, we know that it will be a compensation in time. We know that uh, we want to finalize it. We want to produce something extra from it. You know that there will be a breaking point at that point with the K and the breaking point. That's also the breaking, the same breaking point where we are up to uh, some change. So yes, maybe we can make it change with folk. We can produce something extra. We can make something spontaneously after this process where everything is maybe not destined but we will find a form by following the form and maybe we can make a change anyhow this was just a loose association at the end but uh, but uh, i have my pur my own purposes in that anyhow thanks for watching this was jail to have was again uh, i was having a doubt of uh, publishing this one because it was already a little bit more difficult and for newers it's not the best uh, starting point but anyhow here it is this was jail to van was there's a website too and there's a youtube channel for those who follow it this was a long one again sorry for that uh, there are more instructions more examples more demonstrations on uh, e-progress. Thanks again. Bye-bye.